Hey everybody, Mike Naso here from podweather.com and Internet Partnership Radio with the latest on Hurricane Fred. Today is September 10th and that is the official date for the peak of hurricane season. On this date in 1960, we had Category 4 Hurricane Donna nearing the Florida Keys. In 1961 on this date, we had Category 4 Hurricane Carla moving towards Texas. In 1964 on this date, Category 3 Hurricane Dora was hitting Florida. And it was just five years ago today, Hurricane Ivan was a strengthening Category 4 in the middle of the Caribbean Sea. Today, though, what do we got? Hurricane Fred sitting there in the eastern Atlantic Basin. Here's the latest on Hurricane Fred as of 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. It was at 17.3 north, 35.1 west. Winds were down to 90, uh, far cry from the 120 it had been yesterday. Gusting to 115, moving north very slowly at only uh, 4 miles an hour. 975 millibars, so it has weakened quite a bit. Forecast to weaken to a depression by Sunday, and then a remnant low as it drifts westward under a rebuilding ridge. Now, this cone could be further to the east, it could be further to the west, it could be much further west and stronger or weaker, give or take, but the likelihood of this coming back and regenerating into something and then being a threat down the road is very low, so it doesn't look like Hurricane Fred will be a threat to any land masses. There's the model guidance, and if you take the GFS, you could say, hey, this thing could bend southwest and then back west and be heading towards 60 west and only 22 north to where it could potentially be a threat to Bermuda, the east coast, the Bahamas, but by that time it's pretty much lost and no longer anything uh, that we'd be tracking that discernible on satellite imagery other than a remnant low, but all the models do turn this back west. Uh, where it turns exactly could be critical as to whether or not it's stronger or weaker. If it's further south, like uh, the UK Met shows, uh, it could still be a tropical storm. Uh, if it's further north, it might not be anything to track. Uh, so that is the track forecast for Hurricane Fred. Now, the latest satellite imagery, there's the uh, infrared satellite imagery, and you can see the eye right there not showing up as well as it was earlier as it continues that slow northward drift. The visible satellite imagery, you can see the eye better as the sun goes down, clearly getting sheared. Right there, there's the eye, still a potent hurricane. If this thing slammed into North Carolina or Florida, it'd definitely uh, have some uh, potent winds and a lot of ferocity with it, but it is weakening nevertheless as it continues that slow northward drift at only 4 miles an hour. There it is on the central Atlantic. See this uh, this barrier the hurricane's putting up here? That's a sign of impending wind shear and current wind shear. So as it continues to move north, it'll weaken and then head back west. Further out towards Africa, you can see the hurricane even better on that satellite imagery. There's the eye. Very, very impressive looking as the sun goes down. More waves going to uh, come off Africa in the next few days. Could they develop? quite possibly. Whether or not they affect land, though, is a whole different story. Right now, it looks like we could have a couple more Cape Verde hurricanes, uh, but none of them may ever get close to land. In the western Gulf, we're monitoring this very interesting cluster of showers, this frontal boundary that's a lot of troughiness down here all the way back to the Bahamas. There is an indication that some of this may get spinning and head towards Texas or maybe the Louisiana border. If it does, we'll be right on top of it to see when and where grace will develop. As back in 03, last time we used the name Grace, it was a weak storm right into Texas, so who knows? We do have Hurricane Linda to deal with out in the eastern Pacific, at 19.4 north, 130.1 west, 75 miles an hour, weakening, moving north-northwest at 9, 985 millibars. Taking a look at the satellite imagery, uh, there's the hurricane, very, very ill-defined, clearly on its way out. But note the, the entrails of the convection going all the way into Mexico. I mean, if you take the edge of Linda here and you take the edge of it up here, you're getting almost into California. So this has a very large uh, cloud shield with it, but nevertheless, it is a weakening hurricane. Finally, out in the West Pack, we got a tropical storm off screen moving away and weakening. This is a depression bringing heavy rains to the areas of Central Asia. More systems potentially developing here down near the Philippines. Keep an eye on it very closely. I'm Mike Naso from IPR. I'll see you next time.